All right, we're back to do another breakdown of uh, an open workout, my 23.3 performance, which was, eh, it was okay. It wasn't uh, anything to write home about, but uh, super fun workout. Uh, I really liked the way that this structure was. I liked those expanding time frame workouts. I like when the weights or the skills get more challenging as it goes, and I think it's great for being an accessible workout for everybody, right? <clears throat> so this one obviously started with the wall walks. Um, I think it's just important for most people, for sure, for me, not to get too excited and come out doing anything too crazy for five wall walks. They go by pretty quick. Um, five's not that many, just chip away. Uh, get a good pattern, like always with those wall walks. I always, uh, I kind of do a little foot skip where I go one foot up the wall and then I brush my second foot so that it touches and I can start moving my hands right away. Um, and then, you know, take as few steps as possible and that's kind of a I'm usually three steps up and two steps back um sometimes I'll use a mat if we have a lot I didn't for this because uh I didn't have to but it saves my toes so double unders are just double unders be steady and breathe um light barbell <clears throat> for 95 pounds I kind of just figured um this is a shoulder fatigue workout um and planning for later rounds I decided to do three sets of five uh, not do anything too crazy, not spike the heart rate too much. Um, I kind of do a no contact power snatch. It's like kind of like a hybrid muscle snatch, power snatch. Um, and I, I do that from time to time with the snatch. It feels like at light weights, it keeps my heart rate down a little bit. So, um, I kind of, you know, this is just casual. I spent a little time controlling the bar there, which I maybe didn't need to, but like I said, this workout's one on the back end, and I was not too concerned about the early stages of this workout. Um, I think most people, I know I did, got surprised in the wall walks on the second round that they were already a little bit uh, heating up the shoulders a little bit. Oh, Jen in front of my camera for a sec there, which isn't awesome, but the way it goes. It's when you have when you have help, good help's hard to find. Um. Same thing though, steady through the wall walks. I was a little slower in the second round, kind of intentionally. Um, and then just getting back on the rope, chip it into it right away, trying to be relaxed, catch your breath. That's kind of the the gimme spot of the workout for people who have good double unders. Um, you're not, you know, you're not gonna win or lose much there, but you can just settle down and and it, you know, it's 30 seconds that go by. Uh, 135 pound barbell for 12 reps um i toyed with the idea of doing a a little touch and go set here to start but again for me knowing that the 40 strict hands on push-ups is kind of where i'm gonna you know make or break the workout um it just didn't seem like i needed to <clears throat> i've also kind of been uh i hurt my neck and my shoulder on tuesday of this week that i did this on the friday morning and so i was kind of unsure how the snatch was gonna feel and uh I wanted to be a little bit conservative, take a conservative approach, not do anything too reckless and hurt my neck a week or two, or hurt it worse leading into quarterfinals. So just, you know, nice and steady, nothing too crazy. Um, same thing. I'm doing that no contact power snatch there, saving my, uh, you know, aerobic system a little bit. And then uh, on to the strict handstand pushups. So yeah, again, might have to check my backup camera on this one, but handstand pushups, for me, it was just like, I did four sets of five throughout, and uh, the plan was just to not take too big of a rest, but um, try to be snappy while I was upside down, um, not spend too much time pausing upside down if I can help it and just wasting shoulder strength. So when I was upside down, I tried to pump them out pretty quick. I mean, that's quick for me. I'm not uh, the fastest on my hands. So that's 15 there. Um I had a little plan too to kind of to use my breath, my rests to put my belt on, get myself ready for the later heavier barbells. It's the last five. They start to slow down a little bit here, which, uh, you know, doesn't bode well, but get through the first 20, back to the double unders. Same thing, just relax, get yourself ready for the bar. Um, we had done a little power phase of training leading up, you know, the last four or five weeks uh, where I was doing lots of heavier power snatches with some mostly machines, rowing, skiing, that kind of stuff. So I was feeling pretty confident um, 
on the barbell going into this workout, the biggest part was just making sure that you don't overreach on the, sh the shoulders so that that stability is completely gone once you get to those heavy bars at the end. Um, so, you know, five minutes in onto the third barbell, pretty good. Put the belt up. Nice and high. And then just try to sink into a bit of a rhythm here. Um, again, not really worth it to do touch and goes, uh, knowing that you've got the heavy bar. Like that jump, uh, 40 pound jump from 185 to 225 is big. It's pretty significant at the end of that workout. And the difference between having done just 20 and 40 handstand push ups is pretty big. So most of this workout for the elite guys is, um, is management until you get to that last bar. Uh, or the last handstand pushes, at least the last round. So try to get into a rhythm, step back, step back on the bar, get through it <clears throat> pretty quick. Um, and then, yeah, get ready for that last round. So we get onto the last one. Um, again, like I said, I was a little bit leery of how my shoulder and neck were going to do bouncing on my head. But uh, I... It went surprisingly well, I would say. I, I was happy with how it went. I wasn't uh, too concerned. My judge here freaks out. He thinks I, I was just resetting my rope because it got tangled. But he thought I was leaving to do double unders, having done only five handstand push-ups. So it was fine. We were not that uh, blacked out. Uh, I was all right. I was in control. Um, so handstand push-ups slow down a little bit. This was a fun one. I did it next to uh, one of our coaches at our gym, actually, which is really cool. I, a lot of times I'm doing open workouts or qualifier workouts by myself because um, sometimes you just need the space. But uh, it was fun to do it with somebody next to me. It was pretty cool. Um, she was pumped afterwards. But got the last bar set. I think I got five more left. Um, and, yeah, I really like trying to prep and, you know, get yourself – your head wrapped around what that catch is going to feel like on that last snatch and just hope that you can power it really. Cause I, I think catching with really weak shoulders in a squat is just a little harder than catching in the power. So, um, <clears throat> managed everything pretty good up to this point. Um, you know, I think I get a little surprised by the barbell at the end there. And I think everybody did, but this workout is pretty well designed. I think that the, the way the catch is that you're, you know, your receiving position of the bar is going to be, is going to feel bad at the end. And it's going to feel like that kind of no matter what level you're at, like whether you're those, that second round barbell is heavy for you. Then by the time you get there after the wall walks and the double unders, you know, it just like, it's a bit more surprising than you want it to be. Um, so depending on your skill level and your, your efficiency with a barbell and handstand moves, like it's either going to be that second bar, third bar or fourth bar, but one of them is going to, you're going to catch and it's going to not feel great. So it's like a little shaky there, the shaker that I'd like to be, but the bar went up pretty high. So I try to get into a bit of a rhythm here, like step back, step back on the bar, not waste too much time. Um, and then I think, yeah, the second one felt a little better. Third one felt not too bad. Um, but definitely I'm, I'm like catching the bar pretty far forward. So I started, I was like, hey, you know, you got to pull the bar a little harder. And the fourth one, I think I throw right over my head because um, my shoulders are just, I whipped it back too far in my, I didn't want to fight for the save. Like I said, given that uh, I'm trying to keep my neck in good shape. Um, and that was like a bit of a combo breaker. Sometimes you just, you make a mistake like that or uh, you get into a rhythm and then you have something break your rhythm. Take a little longer rest than I need. Do that one's like not as good. I actually like pinched my thumb pretty hard in the catch on that one too. And then I'm just kind of standing around, which is, you know, too bad. Uh, I think had I had I hit that fourth one, I probably would have parked it in, you know, the 840 range. But I uh, I took a holiday for there. So this is five strong. And then my, my last one I get onto pretty quick to finish. So... Not too bad. Avoided squatting too much. Um, I took a bit of a holiday on the last bar there. I was playing a little bit safe um, and trying to keep my uh, my neck and my shoulders feeling good for quarterfinals. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to We do all of our measurements here on the back end. I always do that because I hate playing with the camera before. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, not so bad other than a little bit of blocked view from the... Uh, the pit crew there, but, uh, I have a backup camera, so it should be all good. 
Um, but yeah, that's 23.3. It was actually, I think, the funnest workout of this Open. I'm sure most people will agree with me. I like stuff that's kind of skill heavy or got some limiting factor where obviously you don't end up, um, there's a little bit of risk, but you don't end up just like breathing super heavy and, uh, and like blacked out. So this was a, a really cool one, really fun one. A workout I would maybe do again, but probably not this weekend. So everybody out there have fun. Good luck. Uh, push it for this last one. Try to get into that third round or fourth round um, and enjoy it. And if you're moving on to quarterfinals, I'll see you there.